They're very fragrant right now, too. Patrick Leahy has a new appreciation for stopping to smell the flowers. Oh, yeah. Once you lose anything, then you realize you know what you've lost. After a simple viral infection, Leahy lost his sense of smell. Luckily, he found Dr. Jay Piccarillo. We think a lot of people have this condition, but they don't seek medical care. People can lose their sense of smell after an injury or with aging, but for some, it results from a viral infection like the common cold. We think the nerve of smell that enters from the brain into the nose um, has in one way or another been injured by the virus. In an attempt to retrain the brain to smell again, Picarillo gave patients four essential oils to smell twice a day for 12 weeks. Through brain training, through smelling these smells, we're trying to, again, get the brain neurons to come back and to allow them to smell. Um, leather. To track progress, patients were asked to identify a variety of odors using simple sniff tests. Peppermint. Potentially a big payoff for little investment in time and effort, you bet. It doesn't cost a whole lot either. Mm -hmm. I can smell the banana shrub too. Yeah. Patrick's sense of smell improved from 30% to 70%. They've both come back dramatically, smelling and taste. I'm Marty Salt reporting.